It's paid 95 on an online auction and sold on eBay in less than 10 minutes for $599.99. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for, hopefully a big profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And if you're not in it, you can join it down below under my link tree. And we just hit 100,000 members. Crazy. Um, but I posted share your best November bolo and you guys shared some mega bolos. So thank you for sharing. Let's get started here with the first one, which is probably going to knock your socks off. Okay. Purchased in a storage unit, paid 150 something for, oh, the storage unit, the whole unit, I think was 150 and sold this Nintendo store display. What? for $2,197. Um, I have previously sold about another $1,500 out of the unit. Now that's when a storage unit pays off. I mean, a lot of times there's just a lot of duds in storage units, right? Wow, that's awesome. Got two ba bathing ape hoodies. Bathing ape. I feel like, have I seen that on the Vero list or don't sell? check that one, guys. I just feel like I'm remembering that. And if somebody knows, let me know down in the comments. Maybe they were counterfeit or something like that. But anyway, I don't know. I just feel like I've that's ringing a bell. Um, let's see. Got two of these on October 24th. Listed the gray one November 1st. It sold on Wednesday for full price on Mercari for $277. Haven't listed the black one yet. It needs to be cleaned has some crusty spot stains. <laughs> the gray one has a few light stains, but I just left them on. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I just saw it in another Bolo video, but please uh, just double check. Paid $3.50 each at a local thrift store. Heavily faked brand has been authenticated. Kated, I can't say that word. Okay, so that's probably what it is. Um, a bathing ape, bape, MGM shark face full zip hoodie, extra large. So maybe that's what I heard is that they're heavily faked. I don't know. But this person that listed it says that it has been authenticated. <laughs> I can't say that word. Oh, uh, it's authentic. I can say authentic. I just can't say it with the ED on the end. I don't know. I just can't. So this is what it looks like. Sold it on Mercari. Mercari is an awesome app to sell on. I love it. Um, I do have a referral link down below for both Mercari and Poshmark. If you join Poshmark, you'll get $10 to shop with my referral link when you join. So that's an automatic $10 of free money. Yes, love it. And if you use my Mercari link, you'll get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And again, thank you always for any of my referral links that you guys use down below. I get either money to shop or I get a small commission from those referral links and it really does help me keep the channel going. So I do appreciate it and I just want to say thank you. Okay. And it doesn't cost you guys anything to use them. <laughs> All right, here we go. Found this at the Goodwill Bins, paid approximately 25 cents. Listed for 64, accepted offer of 55 within 12 hours of listing. Buyer commented that he appreciated that I had a video of the item in my listing. And it's an antique wood brass sliding caliper pocket ruler tool, handyman, Kirby and Brothers, New York. So I don't know if the video just kind of showed like the condition of it, because typically when people do videos, they're doing a video of how the item works. So um, I guess you, if it's a caliper, maybe you could show how it slides. I don't know. I picked up these Converse knee highs at a garage sale in Illinois for $2. After researching, I put them up for auction for $90. There were bidders doing $1 at a time, but two days before auction ended, a user did the $130 buy it now option, so I was thrilled. Just got positive feedback from the buyer as well, and they're very happy with the purchase. Win-win. Okay, now I'm really confused. I thought that once the item had bids, buy it now went away. 
and I see that it had seven bids and sold for 130. Oh, maybe people were offering, just offering low offers. No, I, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. You guys know, I thought that once you had a bid, the buy it now went away. Am I wrong on that? Hmm. Maybe I'm reading what they wrote wrong. Vintage Southern University Jaguars sweatshirt sold for full asking price of $157, bought at Goodwill for $4.79. This sold on Poshmark. So, and a good thing to put in the title when it has, it's spelled out is spell out. Um, that's a good keyword because people look for the big spell out. Um, I think it's spell out is the word that you, people use uh, in their titles. 80s German Army Parka Combat Jacket sold on an offer to Liker for $125, paid $6.99 at the Goodwill. And this is another Poshmark sale. LeBron James High School Basketball Jersey, paid $4 for it at the Goodwill, was offered $84 and took it and ran. It is a jersey. It also sold on Poshmark. And it is a LeBron James St. Vincent St. Mary's Irish High School jersey. Huh. Bolo for plush. I purchased this late September for $3 at a local thrift store. Build-A-Bear Halloween Spider. Asked $125 and accepted $110. I used my phone apps to search items while hunting for items. I saw the Build-A-Bear logo on it and seen prior Bolo videos. I decided to look it up. Saw only two others and they went for $80 to $120. Halloween spider. That's one I did not know about. Um, if you type in Bolo Buddies Build-A-Bear, I have multiple videos on big money Build-A-Bear to be on the lookout for. It is incredible what some of these go for. Most are bread and butter, but watch those videos so that you know which ones to find. Like pick up if you see them because some of them, hundreds of dollars some Build-A-Bear go for. It's been a good weekend for me. Probably the best I've had in a long time. Y2K pink Carhartt jacket. Paid five at a garage sale over the summer. Sold on eBay for 105 best offer. All right, let me make sure I've got all the photos here. Okay, yep. Um, the next one, vintage frosted glass Madonna. Paid three at a garage sale over the summer and sold on eBay for 70 best offer. Large brass MCM Italian sculpture paid 15 and sold for 250 on Marketplace. Christopher Radko plates found at the bins probably paid eight and sold for $80 on eBay. So um, you can see here uh, selling on multiple platforms. You guys, if you're not selling on multiple platforms, you can um, get some help with that. I use List Perfectly. And I have a video down in the description that will show you how it works. And basically what I do is I start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to the other platforms. There is a way to use the catalog also, which is what I highly recommend doing. I just don't have the time to do it. Um, I would have to like start fresh and I just, I don't have the time. So that's why I don't use the catalog, but I recommend it. In this video, I show you how to use the catalog and also how to list like I do just manually like cross posting, not manually, using list perfectly to cross post from eBay to multiple platforms at the same time in bulk. I usually do anywhere from 20 to 30 at a time. So um, I walk you through it. It's a tutorial. You can get 30% off your first month with referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And um, I have been using list perfectly since 2019. Absolutely love it. And I linked that down in the description for you guys to check out the video first. You know, I always say, watch the video, see if it's a good fit for you. And if it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. But definitely check it out because selling on multiple platforms is going to help you get different eyes on your items. Here's another bolo for this month as well. MCM Snap It Color Light for a Vintage Aluminum Tree. Uh, paid 15 and sold it on Etsy for 120 And this is the same seller that just sold something on Facebook and something on Marketplace. So I don't know what cross-posting service she's using. Um, I'm guessing she's using one. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's an example of somebody who sold four bolos on three different platforms. And it's a color wheel. 
Vintage Lisa Frank Zoomer and Zorbit Messenger backpack from the 90s. Paid $95 on an online auction and sold on eBay in less than 10 minutes for $599.99. Yes, I have... I call them my category bolo videos. You guys can... I have a whole playlist. But I have done Lisa Frank before. And... These aliens are definitely a bolo. Check out that Lisa Frank video. Check out that category playlist because man, oh man, when I do those, I do a deep dive research and I find the big money ones and it'll help you guys know what to look for. But this is definitely a bolo. This one, it says another storage locker find already in the plus from this locker. I listed it and sold in 20 minutes. Just a pamphlet with cocktail recipes from 1938. Full asking price of 42. May have undersold, but still a profit for me. Keep these awesome videos coming. They help a lot of people, including me. Thank you so much for all you do. Um, this one comes from Horse Lover. And it says, 1938, the cocktail hour pamphlet, Hiram Walker and Sons London Canadian Club Whiskey. And this is what it looks like. And Horse Lover is also over on Whatnot. It's me again. This is Horse Lover also. This was an amazing find, but for the life of me, I can't remember where I got it. Sold for full asking price within a month of listing. And it is a real mink fur teddy bear, one of a kind, dark brown, sitting non-jointed. And it sold for $68.32. And I don't know how you figure out what kind of fur things are. I, if you guys have a trick, I'll tell you what, I find something that's fur and I have no idea what kind of fur it is. I'm like, is this rabbit? Is this mink? Uh, same with the fur coats. I'm like, I have no clue. Unless it says it, clueless. Um, bought this Francis Valentine gold jacquard swing coat at a church thrift store in Thousand Oaks, California, and knew it would be sold to wear to a holiday party. I paid 15 for it. Listed it for $200 and took a best offer of $170. I like to pick up special occasion clothing items in excellent condition because often people will only wear these things once, leaving them with a lot of life and other parties to go to. It is a Francis Valentine, or Valentine, I don't know, short metallic and it's cut off, but that's what it looks like. Got this Harry Potter ceramic mug for free sold on poshmark for 22 dollars. free is good right paid 50 cents per bag i found these three times this season so they're out there vintage union waiting angel hair spun glass christmas decor four ounce bag spun glass christmas decor hmm. sold two of them for $29.50 and it says total $59. This is what it looks like. Bought this animated Santa two years ago for 50 cents at a local thrift store. Everything is 50 cents. Whoa, I want to go to that thrift store. I tried selling it in my antique booth last year. I couldn't even sell it for $20. I put it on eBay three weeks ago and sold for asking price of $60. I paid shipping, but was only $10 with my husband's shipping discount after fees, $40 profit. Courtney, I think you should, I think you sold one of these yourself. That's why I picked it up. Yes, I did. I was just going to say I sold one of these. Mine, I don't think mine, did mine have the box? I can't remember, but, and I can't remember what it sold for, but mine, I want to say it sold higher than 60, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And I I wish I could remember if it had the box, but I do have a video on my um, reseller testing Bolo products channel. I'm pretty sure I put a video of how it works over there. You guys should go watch it. It's pretty funny. Um, so thank you for sharing. And I'm glad that you saw that in a video and knew to pick it up. This one comes from Horse Lover also. Just sold this and it was another storage unit find. Beautiful coat. I wanted to keep it, but I'm not bougie enough to wear it. <laughs> You are amazing, Courtney, and we love you. Oh, thank you so much. Keep up the awesome work. Horse Lover 69 on eBay and YouTube and Horse Lover on whatnot. It is a vintage Y2K Kent Street Animal Lines Faux Fur Oversized Hood Sleeves Women's. Um, and it looks like it sold for $155. Y2K is a great word to put in the title if you know it's from that time frame. Um, 
I do have a video called Y2K. So type in Y2K Bolo Buddies and be prepared to be shocked at this Y2K Bolo. Oh my goodness. When I found out about this, I'm like, I am totally doing a video. Paid $100 at a yard sale and it sold for 1,062 plus shipping. What? This one comes from Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube, and they are mega bolo finders. If you guys are not following them, you got to go check out their YouTube channel. It is a helicopter flight helmet and bag from 1996. Unbelievable. I'm in shock right now, but they did pay $100 for it. So I probably, I would have seen $100 and been like, I don't know that I would have looked it up. Look at this, you guys. Wow. Wow, wow. Bought on eBay for $4.99 plus $8 shipping. Listed at $250. Had tons of views and several watchers. Took about six-ish weeks. Um, sold on eBay for best offer of $160. <laughs> Initially bought as a backup for my daughter's first Christmas ornament since they are all glass but saw some others here talking about it and being a bolo. So she bought it for her daughter as a backup and was like, uh, no, 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 no. This thing sells for 160. Sorry, I'm gonna sell it. It's a Hallmark keepsake, Baby's First Christmas 2013 with box. Yeah, Baby's First Christmas. Everybody's like, why would I get something with like a date from a long time ago? Well, because people break them. They lose them and they want the replacements to replace a memory. Same thing with stuffed animals and plush. Uh, definitely check out my plush bolo videos because it is crazy what some plush go for. Most of them are bread and butter. Same with ornaments, but some go for big money. This one comes from Found by Chance. That's her eBay store. She said, I found this at one of our local thrift stores. I'm not sure why I picked it up. <laughs> it's cute and all, but it isn't anything I would think of as a major bolo. It's small and made of resin, for goodness sake. When I did comps in the store, I couldn't believe how much these were going for. Put that baby in my cart right away, paid $1.07. I listed it for quite a while for over 100 with some interest, but not much. So I finally dropped it down to 80 with a buy it now. Shortly after, I got an offer on this thing for $64.95. Buyer was all in for $75.25. Nice return on the money. It's a 2010, I think it's Ensco, homegrown summer pink flamingo watermelon figurine. <laughs> hey, you know, it sells, it sells. Bought this Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty Small Fries plush from a consignment sale for $3. Sold on Posh for $76 in less than a month. Plush was from 2013, only seven inches tall and had its original outfit. Yeah, some of the Hello Kitty outfits can be a big money bolo on their own. This is what it looks like. All right, we're going to do one more here. Bought this Patricia Nash denim backpack at a thrift store for $4.99. Sold for full asking price of $99.99 on eBay in less than a week. And this is what it looks like. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. The format is going to change for these videos. Um, if you would like to share, it will be posted in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group under the announcements. Instead of posting a screenshot, I'm going to have you guys post a sold link to your item. It can be any platform. And what's nice about this is they will be clickable links. So if somebody wants to go in and check out your store, they'll be able to do that. Um, if you would like to have your eBay store or whatever store shout it out, please put in your um, post eBay store and whatever your store name is, or if it's Etsy, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, whatever, put that in there because I read the write-up. So I'm going to read exactly what you write. So if you have that in your little comment, when you share, I will shout it out in the video. If it's not there, it will be anonymous. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.